Train Bright Doggo Nighttime Edition. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> it's not a Christmas score, but it's quite a score. Look, Janine. Energizer Bunny Stocking? Energizer Bunny Stocking. Does it have a year on it? Uh, made in China, 1983. Wow. How fun is that? It's, oh, it's pretty cool. good condition too. I mean, you'd have to wash it, but I wonder mm. if it has a resale value. It's pretty, uh, you know, different. I feel like it's a collectible item. Yeah, I'll different. look it up on eBay. It's $6. How fun. That's really cool. So Energizer Bunny has a resale value of 15, sometimes including shipping, sometimes not. So I don't think it's going to be worth it to pick him up, but he was definitely fun to see. I got a little something to show you. Okay. Oh, look at that. Little elf on a mushroom. Creepy little guy. A little creepy. I don't know what that is, but it's definitely older. How much is it? $5.99. Yikes. It's yellow, so it's 25% off. And it's got like a butt crack. Like, oh, not to be gross, oh. but like, it's got kind of a butt. Interesting. Okay, okay. Cool find, so, though. Here you go. No, thanks. Yeah. Fake caboodle. That looks like a vintage sticker. It's like a knockoff caboodle, I think. Ooh, six dollars. Uh, uh, red box, nineteen ninety. Wow. Hmm, that's cute. These look older to me. Are these? Yeah. So these are plastic, meant to look like gold, and I think they were popular in like the sixties and the seventies. Let's see if there's any information on the back. I've sort of been on the lookout for a set of these. I think they used to make them in like metal in the 50s, which I've been on the lookout for. I can't tell if I like these or not. But yeah, look at this. There's a date on the back. Let's see if we can peel this up. So copyright. Oh boy, I don't know what that is. Is that 75? Homco made in USA. Huh. They are pretty. I do like that there's two. Do you like these? Um, no. <laughs> oh, okay. But like, I don't not like them. You know have I mean? you seen these before, you know, with like the metal? Yeah, yeah. I they have. used to make them in like real metal, I think. And like, mm -hmm. the really vintage ones. These I think are from the 70s. I don't know. I sort of like them, I sort of don't. Well, you could think about it. Think about where you put them. Would you be opposed to getting it? No. That's why I like you. <laughs> it's Halloween stickers over there, Janine. You see them? Yeah. Yeah, those are them. Some Valentine's. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, you can look at them first. Oh, yeah, these are from 1971. You know, we never find vintage cards at the thrift store. But these... Those look like peanuts. Hmm. Yeah, there's some Snoopy ones in there. Yeah, cool. For $2. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Tempting. And those Halloween stickers? They look new. Ah. Uh, yeah, more modern. Yeah, yeah. These are interesting. Still, so, nonetheless. Nonetheless. But I did want to show you something. Okay. Look at this globe. Oh, patch. you found a globe. I did, and I want you to look at. Oh, there's a dent in it. Yes. That's too bad. Union of Soviet Socialist Republic. Oh, so this is old. Yeah, six dollars. It's probably from the mid-century. Look it up there. Oh, how fun. This is. It's got a few issues, but it's nice. It's a nice size too. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. And this is, is this tin? Yeah. yeah. But it's nice. It is. You know, it's a nice shelf piece. It is, it's a nice find. I like this card right here, this little orange one. But I don't think I'm gonna get these. Hmm. Look how cute these plates are. I love them, $4 each, but I think they're 50% off. Yeah, they make them $2 each. But there's no maker on them. I don't know who made them, but I thought they're really cute and have a really nice uh, graphic on them. They're a bit heavy too, so it'd be a lot to ship. But how cute! 
Looks like they tried to sell it at like a garage sale or something first. I think I'm gonna get these. Are there good cards in there? I think there might be. Like each one is like put into an envelope and I think it'd be fun. Maybe we can go through it in a video. That might be fun, right? Yeah. Hey Laura. Mm. Look at this. Oh wow. It's a little angel. She's cute. Is she plastic? She is. She's made in Hong Kong. Wow. She's got a musical base too. Oh, it says a date. 1978. Wow. wow. She's cute. And she's how much? Six dollars. But she's off. orange. 50% off. Isn't she cool? She is cool. She could use a bit of a cleaning, but I think she would clean up nice. You're going crazy, Laura. These are the ones I was talking about. Now, these are plastic too. But see how they they look like metal? Like they mm. look like copper? Oh, I've been on the lookout for these. I found a few like months ago and I almost got them, but I didn't. I think these are nicer than the ones you found recently. Ooh, they're like eight dollars though each. How do they know? That's a big thinking. That is a big thinking. <laughs> <laughs> a big thinking. That's a big thinking. But look how much nicer like these are compared to this, right? Or do you, yeah. do you not have a preference? I, I think I like the other ones more. Yeah. These are a little like um flashy. In yeah, comparison. yeah, yeah. <gasps> I'm so excited. So I did a little bit of researching, a little bit of googling to see the years on some of these. And these, like I suspected, are 1974, so a bit newer. And these, there is a marking here, right there. These are from 1954, which is very exciting. But they're all different uh, types, which I'm not too excited about. I sort of like Seth. So we have a holly berry here. And then, I don't really know my flowers, but this sort of looks like a mum, maybe. or I know it's not a mum, but it looks like a mum. A chrysanthemum? I don't know. Um, roses. A set of roses and i don't know this just looks like a generic flower to me but i'm sure it's a specific type um they are eight dollars each but i'm sort of very excited about them and hopefully janine will like them enough to display in our apartment and they look to be in good condition sometimes they're, they're they break um but yeah these are from 1954 i might have to buy them all we'll see Janine, I want this on camera for proof. You don't mind me displaying these however I want? No, I don't care. However we want, it's fine. Thank you. <laughs> this is the proof. In case you take back your word. <laughs> what did you just show me? Okay, so I I looked up the other I looked up the other two. The original set that you found. The 1974 one. Just to see on eBay. Just in case. It's and sold for that much money. Two of them recently sold for $124. So obviously I'm gonna get them. Oh my god, they're in her hand. I've got a good amount of money right here in my hands. I can't believe it. That's awesome. Train Bright Doggo Nighttime Edition. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> it's not a Christmas score, but it's quite a score. Yeah, I'm excited. you're so happy. I know, happy I know. You. Thank you, thank you. Guys, I could not believe that these were at the thrift store. Oh my goodness, I am so excited to have found these mid-century scores. So these are wall plaques they are made out of plastic and there's four of them these are two out of the four and they were really popular during the mid-century i did a bit of research and these were originally a set of four different flowers i know in the thrift store i was upset that you know i didn't have pears but they were meant to be a set of four different flowers so these are two out of the four and they are just beautiful originally these wall plaques were made out of copper um, but these are actually plastic so they're a little bit newer from the 60s versus the 50s even though this is marked 1954. i'll show you guys what i'm talking about so here are the other two the holly which i absolutely love but you will see on the back of these they are marked from 1954 um dart industries and i did a bit of research and these wall plaques were originally made by a company called Syroco or Syroco and they did a lot of woodworking and eventually moved into plastics in the 50s and the 60s in the 60s, this dark company uh, purchased the company, which is why it's not labeled Sirocco. So although it's 1954, I think the mold might have been from 1954. And these were actually produced in the 60s, is my guess. They're just so beautiful. And they were only $8 each. Um, and, you know, I thought that was a little bit in the thrift store. But comps for wall plaques like these, actually these exact same ones, for four of them are like $80 to $100 each. Wow. Yeah, so I paid $32 for the four and I think that was a great score. And not only did I get those, but I got the other pair. These are actually a little bit newer and I thought so in the thrift store. I saw them and I immediately thought 70s because of that 
gold foil. They're a little bit more extravagant than the mid-century uh, versions. And these are actually marked on the back as well. They wow. are made by Homco or Homeco, not too sure. Um, but they made a lot of wall plaques. They made mushroom wall plaques, which are really popular and collectible right now. And there's actually a sold comp for these two for like, I can't remember if it was like 150 or over $200. I'll put in a picture for you guys, but unbelievable. That's that crazy. These are worth so much. I mean, I guess for the right buyer, right? Not everybody's yeah. going to pay $200, but it just goes to show that these are collectible pieces. And I got each for $3, which is quite a score. You want to be careful with these, even though they are plastic, they can break. This one has like a little break breakage oh, right yeah, there. I see the little crack. Mm -hmm. But I think if I put some epoxy on it and hold it together for a little while, it'll strengthen that uh, split. So these are really cool. I think I might hold on to the other four for a while. And these two, I don't know yet. I'm just so excited. Not sure um, when I'll sell them. I, I came across these like almost a year ago and passed them up. I'm not sure why, but they came back to me and I, I snatched them up and I'm so happy to have done so. So thank you guys so much for joining us on another thrifting adventure. So fun to have found some mid-century scores this time. Um, if you guys are into thrifting mid-century vintage holiday, make sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and let us know if you've come across any amazing mid-century scores lately. So until next time, guys, thanks for joining us. See you next time. Bye. Bye.